this new unstoppable popper build might have broken NBA 2K22. It can dribble like crazy, snag, play lanes and get steals and get crazy blocks like never seen before. Today not only am I going to be showing you all this build but I'm going to be going through the attributes and the best badge layouts for this build. Before we get into this build video I'm going to need y'all boys to drop a like and turn on post notifications so that you all get notified whenever I drop a video. Alright I'm done wasting time let's get right into the video. Now first off, shout out my boy YT Pelican for letting me hop on this build, but before I get into this build, I want to show y'all boys this build itself at 98 plus overall itself, 98 or 99, it's only one attribute off, but look man, I want to show y'all this build at 98 plus just because I feel like I'd rather show y'all the build when it's, when it's complete versus just like just throwing out a build. I'll show y'all how to make the build after this, but I want to show y'all it in full effect. Now to start off, in my opinion, this is the best, most balanced popper build ever you know what i'm saying some poppers they can shoot good and then they just can't play a lick of defense and then some poppers are just built they're just not good but this popper right here this build can do it all first things first this build has a 75 driving dunk allowing the build to be able to finish like crazy then it has an 83 point shot at 98 overall which is god like in my opinion because at that point you're at the rate you're at the freaking shooting range of a point guard in my opinion then you have an 82 mid range you know what i'm saying then if you want to get nasty with the post phase you know what i'm saying you got a little 76 post fade and it's very easy to post fade this year then as a big man you have a 75 pass accuracy and i'm gonna get into this playmaking part you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get into this playmaking part later into this video i'm gonna tell y'all why this is very important now look at the ball handle now you might be saying well 51 that's not that's not that you know what i'm saying it's not that high how are you even dribbling with that i don't know what they did but after this patch bro my center has been faster he's been dribbling like crazy bro and we have a 66 post control now 66 post control isn't that bad i really don't get ripped unless i just like run around and some dudes right behind me and they spam x other than that i don't get ripped interior defense is a 69 i get a lot of contests to have a 69 interior defense then we got the perimeter defense now with a 79 perimeter defense this is low-key godlike because i can guard guards and you know what i'm saying i'm not sitting here getting dusted by every single guard that tries to iso me my lateral quickness also is what helps me play perimeter defense if y'all don't know lateral quickness you know what i'm saying when you move inside to side on defense this is the reason why it's in the defensive stack category lateral quickness it's important that your lateral quickness is high as a big so you know what i'm saying you, you want to be able to guard anybody that's dribbling against you have an 80 steal now 80 steal is about the default steal that any build gets in my opinion unless you make yourself like a pure shooter or a pure slasher or something even then i think pure slashers even get 80 steals now 88 block this i like this stat because th with this stat with this 88 block i get a lot of chase downs i get snatch blocks i get a lot of blocks where i just freaking smack the ball like crazy then we have an 80 offensive rebound now i don't know about most poppers well actually i do know about most poppers most poppers cannot snag like this popper i don't know what pelican did with this popper you know what i'm saying but this popper gets boards like crazy once again shout out my boy yt pelican go sub to him his youtube name should be pelican up next go sub to him but anyways and we on we got the defensive rebound the defensive rebound is a 90 like you already know how defensive rebounds are they're always easier to get than offensive but my player be jumping over next you know what i'm saying like he be snagging getting bro getting crazy animations with an offensive rebound now i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all boys the badges i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about when it comes to playmaking now look having bullet passer on a big man is op for many reasons say you get the board and you know what i'm saying you're trying to move the ball and your guard is dex and you want to get the ball to your guard off of the rebound as quickly as possible right having bullet passer allows you to make those quick passes you know what i'm saying get that extra bucket then i have bailout having bailout even on bronze with my you know what i'm saying with my type of pass accuracy even having bailout on bronze helps in case i want to shoot in and pass out typically i never shoot and pass out because if i shoot the ball i know i want to shoot the ball then having gold unpluckable is nice you want to make a big with a good amount of playmaking just so you're not limited to just 
you can't you can't move like you just can't move if you just have no playmaking so having unpluckable on gold makes it to where i'm not getting stripped like crazy then quick first step if i ever want to iso sometimes i might be able to beat most big men to the basket i even beat guards to the basket and then once i make it to the basket and i'm going to get up against a guard that's where the 75 driving dunk comes into play and boom they're just out there getting dunked on as far as finishing goes yes i know i only have one finishing bag but that one finishing badge is lob city finisher so i mean still be going crazy now on to the shooting badges and i'm explaining every single shooting badge now, as far as catch and shoot goes on Hall of Fame, I keep catch and shoot on Hall of Fame just for the fact that whites go in like crazy. So if I have on catch and shoot and I'm a spot up and I have it on Hall of Fame, I'm borderline never going to miss. I'm either greening the shot or hitting the white. Corner specialist just adds to the effect of catch and shoot, simply put. Like if I'm spotting up in the corner, I, I ain't gonna lie, I can't even remember the last time I've missed specifically out of the corner. Because this game just allows you to smack whites like crazy. And also, that's another thing. This build hits a ton of whites, and it's mad easy to green. I have an 83 ball. How could I not green? But corner specialist is a very overpowered badge. Now, you combine catch and shoot with corner specialist alongside having hot zones in the corner. Oh, my God. You're definitely not missing. Like, you're just not missing. Now, having hot zone hunter on Hall of Fame is also a cheat code. That is a cheat code in itself. Now say you want to, you know what I'm saying, you want to get out there to the wing, you want to shoot at the top of the key. You need limited spot up. I found that without limited spot up, you're just not shooting at the top of the key. It, it, it's just not happening. Like I've tested games, I've took it, I put it on, I've taken it off. Every time I take it off, I literally cannot shoot at the top of the key. So make sure you have this badge on. I don't run um, dead eye because it just doesn't work. Blinders, I typically don't find myself in situations where people are to the side of me and I have to shoot because I, I literally only shoot open. Like when I get dotted, if I'm open, boom, spread. You know what I'm saying? But now we got the biggest bailout badge in the game, Sniper himself. Now this badge is a must have. If there's any badge that you need to have on, it is Sniper itself. Now with this sniper badge, man, y'all already know, bro. It is the most toxic badge in the game. This badge is the badge of whites and greens. You literally will not miss once you put this badge on Hall of Fame. Then we got Green Machine himself. This badge just allows you to green, you know what I'm saying? Makes it easier for you to green after every time that you do green. So yeah, it's very important to have this badge on. Now, some honorable mention would be Volume Shooter. Now, the reason why I don't use Volume Shooter is because, look, I am a spot up. This badge is only good if you're consistently shooting the ball. That's why I use it on my guard. I would not recommend using this on a spot up build because you're not guaranteed to touch the ball every single play. You know what I'm saying? And then another badge that'll be cool is Clutch Shooter. This badge activates after 12 to 15 points has been dropped, meaning you have a permanent boost after a team hits 12 points. Either your team or that team has to hit 12 points and boom you have a boost so that's overpowered now on to defense now i feel like i got the best defensive setup out of any popper on this game and i'll explain why gold brick wall okay we i mean i don't know if there's a popper build that can max out on hall of fame there probably is one but these work perfectly for me on defense so gold brick wall i definitely be setting big bodies as far as gold chase down artist goes bro if anybody knows you can put gold chase down artists on a guard it doesn't even matter your block rating but of course the higher the block rating the better i be hawking chase downs bro even on my guard with a 34 block i be hawking chase down with chase down artists on gold it's just literally the best badge in the game then clamps, you know what I'm saying? If you're playing park, you tend to play double guards or small ball lineups all the time, especially like as of recently, kids have been making two way plays, you're gonna need this badge. Then interceptor, now the lane steals are a bit iffy in this game, but with interceptor on goal, you are guaranteed to hawk the lane every single time. Intimidator plus menace, key combo. Reason being is, bro, paint defense is trash. So you want menace to drop the attributes, and then you want intimidator to cause them to miss. 
these these added up with each other will guarantee nobody's hitting 98% layups in your face because we all hate when that happens. That's just terrible. Now we got pogo stick on bronze because we do have those corn balls that just like to run in the paint, wait for you to jump, and then like they just go up. But with pogo stick on bronze, if they wait for you to jump, and you know what I'm saying, you bite and jump on accident, you can just jump again and boom, they're contested. You know what I mean? So yeah, jokes on them when they try to do you like that. Then we got rebound chaser on gold. Now, sometimes rebounds are iffy, sometimes they're not. It really just depends on if 2K even likes you or not at the time being. We all know how that goes on this game. Even if you play center, you know what I'm talking about. But my player be snacking with gold rebound chaser. And then we last but not least, we got gold rim protector. This badge do be coming in clutch, and I do get snatch blocks 100% with this build. And yeah, but this build is definitely the best popper in the game. I don't care. This build can dribble. You've seen it in clips. It can dribble, snag, shoot, steal the ball like crazy. You know what I'm saying? And these are my attributes just in case you want to know how to make the build. Just subtract three. My pie chart is a green, red, in case you're curious. Low, you know what I'm saying? The wingspan that you want to go to is a couple ticks down, two ticks down from being max wingspan, 6'8", 187 pounds. And then as far as the pie chart goes, just go with the speed pie chart, man. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I'm not no buff strong center. Look at my strength. It's literally a 52. But however, my speed is fast. You want to be able to keep up with guards. You want to be able to crash very quickly, efficiently. And yeah, it's been your boy Disto. Appreciate y'all boys for watching this build video. Once again, shout out my boy Pelican. YT Pelican. Go sub to him. Pelican up next. But it's been your boy Disto. Drop a like. Turn on post notice if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.